गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू आई एफ एस वेलकम टू आई एफ एस एंड एज यूजल वी आर बैक विथ आर क्वांटम केमिस्ट्री इंग्लिश वर्जन लेक्चर सीरीज एंड टूडे इज लेक्चर नंबर टेन दिस लेक्चर इज गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेक्चर बिकॉज द टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर इज द टॉपिक दैट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फेवरेट टॉपिक्स ऑफ एनी पेपर सेटर uh for quantum chemistry okay quantum chemistry of course is a very high weightage topic but even in quantum chemistry there are some topics which get even larger weightage and what we are going to study today has the largest weightage and today's topic is the hydrogen atom okay hydrogen atom is where we start the study of chemistry and that is the topic that we are going to study today okay so good evening good evening everyone leela rutuja uh, pratyusha shubham अक्षय के जी आर शेष राम प्रियंका वेलकम वेलकम हियर वेलकम प्रियंका प्लीज रिप्लाई प्रियंका यू हैवेंट आस्ट अ क्वेश्चन इफ यू आस्क अ क्वेश्चन आई विल रिप्लाई डेफिनेटली आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू इग्नोर योर क्वेश्चन ओके सो वॉट इज योर क्वेश्चन वॉट इज योर क्वेश्चन इफ यू टेल मी योर क्वेश्चन आई विल रिप्लाई इमीजिएटली ओके ओके so uh good evening nilesh goc classes are already done okay all the live lectures of goc are already done you can uh, check out the goc playlist okay good evening vandana good evening kgr akshay sheshram sheshram where are you from there are two new uh, new friends who have joined us today sheshram kgr priyanka and uh, vandana is also here okay vandana has been here and shubham generally doesn't tell us where he is from but shubham regularly joins here all right uh, okay so all of you now know that the csr net results are out and uh, not the results let's say the scorecard is out the results will be out soon in this week okay uh, let's see when they are uh, usually it takes 2 to 3 more days uh, after the scorecard is out so in this week we can expect the final results with your ranks and the cutoffs all right but predicted cutoffs all of you know uh, we predict that it will be a cutoff of close to uh, 102 for the open category for jrf and close to 92 for the uh, for lectureship uh, in the unreserved category all right so these are going to be the cutoffs but let's see let's see oh you have told me many times okay i tend to forget okay shubham is also from jharkhand okay okay there are many people here from jharkhand leela is also from jharkhand okay okay i'm sorry for that shubham i have a bad memory when it comes to names and places uh but yes i know that you attend our lectures regularly so don't worry okay so priyanka is again saying sir please reply but i don't know what priyanka's question is so let's see uh, if she actually posed the question rather than keep keeping on requesting me to uh, reply uh, okay good evening good evening rock boy good evening he is from bihar excellent good evening hani good evening hani i hope hani you are feeling much better now the weekend has done very good for you govind rao okay kgr analysis is govind rao govind uh, i think you have already also uh, attended this uh, session from a different class a uh, different id maybe so i think i remember the name govind okay 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 all right so today's session is about the hydrogen atom okay today's session is about the hydrogen atom okay this is the first session of hydrogen atom we'll have many different sessions okay this is one of the most important uh, topics in quantum chemistry okay in quantum chemistry this is one of the most important topics uh which is the hydrogen atom most important because it has higher weightage okay now before we actually start uh there is a good news for all of you uh any of you who are interested in uh studying specifically general aptitude practicing specifically general aptitude our general aptitude batch is also starting okay this is a batch with a 3 month validity and the batch starts on the 31st of october okay this batch starts on 31st of october meaning today okay this is a batch which is starting today 3 month validity only at 199 okay it's a 3 month validity only at 199 all live lectures recorded sessions uh, daily practice problems pdfs and regular sunday tests for the next 3 months 
okay so any of you who are interested in studying for or preparing the aptitude remember the gate exam is exactly 3 months away okay so it's almost october is uh, today is the last day of october so you have november december and january these 3 months you have and in february you have the gate exam so exactly 3 months are remaining for the gate exam uh, and this is a 3 month validity course make sure that you start studying for general aptitude as early as possible okay the earlier you start the easier it gets when uh, you reach the actual exam and remember in the gate exam the general aptitude part has 15% weighted weightage okay 15 marks is a lot okay uh, last year's cut off was 25 marks last year's cut off was 25 marks and if out of 25 15 you just get from aptitude imagine that out of 85 marks you just have to get 10 more marks in chemistry to qualify okay so aptitude is a big part of your qualification percentage all right so if 25 marks is the cut off and if 15 marks is aptitude this is a very very important course okay this is a very very important uh, point okay so priyanka is uh, again saying ignore mat karo but not asking a question finally she has asked a question okay sir paid course mein join nahi raha na hi reply karta hai please help me priyanka don't worry uh, even if uh, in the paid course uh, all you can do is uh, support chat no reply that won't be possible uh, just i'll give you a phone number i'll give you a contact number so you can call on this number 9172666888 okay and uh, you can call on this number and you can let them know whatever your concerns are uh, i'm sure i'm confident that all these concerns will be uh, will be uh, uh, will get solved will get resolved uh, if you call on this number uh, or otherwise uh, if there is uh, uh, if you are uh, if you are uh, uh, having problems in joining again the same phone number will uh, help you resolve this issue okay uh, you might have uh, faced some issues while joining the live lecture all right just call this number don't worry uh, even if you uh, even if uh, you call and this number doesn't uh, you get no answer from this number they, they your number is already in their record so they will call you back okay sometimes what happens is uh, we have just because it was diwali uh, vacations were going on uh, our educational counselors were also on leave and uh, which is why sometimes uh, if you get 20 different calls but there are just two counselors sometimes your call won't be answered okay it's uh, i mean please understand that uh, it's not because we don't want to answer your call that your call is not getting picked up but it's because there are some genuine difficulties uh, but if you have called and if you have left a message there uh, if your call doesn't get answered they will call back okay they will definitely call back if you uh, tell them what the issue is uh, you can also uh, send a whatsapp message on this number and uh, uh, we might we can help you out okay all right so don't worry priyanka yes okay uh, then vandana is from sonebhadra yes yes i think uh, vandana has also uh, uh, told us earlier vandana uh, i have met earlier she is from up bhavana is also here bhavana is also from up right no bhavana is from where varan is also from up i think either up or maharashtra i forget again uh okay okay <coughs> all right so let's go back so remember a flat 70% off a flat 70% discount is still available on this course and uh, this is now available the discounted price is 1999 uh, after a 70% discount on 4999 okay so uh make sure that you enroll as early as possible uh use the promo code itihas okay use the promo code itihas and uh, the actual price is 4999 that will get dropped down to uh, 1999 okay all right now let's come back to our main topic which is the hydrogen atom which is the hydrogen or to be more specific we call this hydrogen like atoms okay to be more specific we call this hydrogen like atoms what does that mean what do hide what does hydrogen like atoms mean okay rock boy is saying uh, something i bought a concept check book uh, but yet no do not deliver sir yes rock boy uh, your book will also reach you don't worry about it uh, you must have gotten an email in which there is a tracking id of india post all right you can um, uh, look at the tracking id and uh, you can go to the india post website and figure out where your package is 
okay uh, if it has been dispatched or not so you will always get an email uh, don't worry uh, even if uh, it gets uh, delayed by a few days it will definitely reach you so you don't have to worry at all okay all right uh, previous video can't uploaded after three lectures three between them i don't really understand what you're saying malik uh, but i think all videos are here i don't think that should be a big problem okay all right kem is saying i purchased recorded video csr net chemical science i ah, you have made a very good decision you have made an excellent decision especially if you are not able to attend live classes make sure that you attend uh, at least take the recorded course the recorded course lectures the recorded course sessions are the best versions of a live class that has happened okay so you will you will feel like you are actually attending the live class all right and it is a great way to study yourself okay yes arvind kumar is absolutely saying uh, uh, arvind kumar is saying li plus but well not li plus really what does hydrogen like atom mean hydrogen like atoms mean single electron systems okay hydrogen like atoms are essentially single electron systems what do you mean by single electron systems okay what do you mean by single electron systems of course as the name suggests whatever is the number of protons whatever is the atomic number the number of electrons is just one okay the number of electrons is just one so for example for example hydrogen but not helium okay hydrogen is a one electron system but not helium helium has two electrons so what if we remove one electron and we get helium 1 plus what if we remove one electron and we get helium 1 plus okay in the same way we'll remove two electrons from lithium we'll remove three electrons from beryllium and so on okay all of these systems all of these systems are single electron systems okay all of these systems are single electron systems okay very good sheshram i hope you have understood why not helium it's helium 1 plus arvind uh, it's li2 plus not li1 plus okay correct gs yadav absolutely correct uh, lecture 4 5 6 quantum english not uploaded all of them are there all of them are there lecture number 5 couldn't happen okay lecture number 5 isn't there i know that because lecture number 5 did not happen but whatever we were going to cover in lecture number 5 we have covered in lecture number 6 so you can just watch lecture number 6 okay okay malik so uh, you haven't missed anything lecture 4 is there lecture 6 is also there both of them are there okay i uh, look at the playlist uh, for uh, quantum chemistry english okay both of these lectures will be there and soon we are also going to upload them on the ifas app so that you don't have to uh, go through the trouble of actually um, uh, searching for all of these lectures okay all right all right general aptitude course only in english or hindi uh, it's a hindi english mix course general aptitude we don't have a pure english course yet it's a hindi english mix course okay but you will have recorded videos of uh, general aptitude english uh, also on the app you can just uh, go and check once okay all right okay so these are all hydrogen like atom systems so essentially you have a nucleus which is positively charged okay Z this has a charge of plus ze okay this has a charge of plus ze and you have an electron and you have an electron which rotates around the nucleus or moves around the nucleus let's say uh, let's not say rotates but let's say moves around the nucleus and as a result uh, so this has minus e charge okay the charge on the electron is minus e okay now if you have two charges if you have two charges what is the electrostatic potential between these two charges the electrostatic potential is given by v is equal to minus k into z into e square upon r where what is r r is the distance between the nucleus and the electron okay this is the nucle uh, distance between the nucleus and the electron okay is that clear is that clear so this is the potential that we are going to use in the schrodinger equation in order to solve okay this is the potential that we end up using in the schrodinger e equation in order to solve okay is that clear to all of you is that clear to all of you uh, if isotopes of hydrogen can be considered for hydrogen like atom absolutely deuterium atom uh, 
deuterium atom tritium atom can also be considered okay but remember that the value of z for all of them is the same value for value of z for all of them is still plus 1 okay so that value can always be considered okay so uh, hydrogen atom deuterium atom nothing much changes except for the value of m which is the uh, or rather instead of m you have mu which is the reduced mass okay but uh, what happens is uh, uh, in the schrodinger equation we have a mass which is the mass of an electron and uh, if you consider reduced mass it doesn't uh, vary much okay it remains almost the same so you don't really have to uh, i mean the wave functions and the energies will almost be the same okay they don't change by a lot okay honey is saying uh, i got 45 plus without any preparation very good honey very good now you just have to double your marks if you double your marks your ls is uh, guaranteed and uh, if you increase your marks 2.5 times your jrf is also guaranteed okay so it's not a large uh, it's not going to be a very difficult uh, thing to do okay so just keep attending our sessions or if you want a structured course if you want to complete your preparation in a given amount of time rather than the youtube batch what i would recommend is uh, go to the ifs app paid course okay that has a very structured uh, way around it so unfortunately we can't uh, we are not getting enough time uh, to bring the same structure in the youtube batch also because uh, we are already busy in uh, catering to the students who are enrolled in our batch okay so uh, we have a very hectic schedule uh, in our batches and after that we come here so we get very little time with you but we are trying to do as much as we can for all of you uh, guys who have the same passion and uh, the same enthusiasm uh, for qualifying csr net and becoming scientists or lecturers okay so uh, yes absolutely if reduced mass high then what effect if reduced mass is high i'll show you uh, you will see what the reduced mass uh, effect is okay so this is the hydrogen like atom and now what is the hamiltonian what is the hamiltonian for a hydrogen like atom what is the hamiltonian operator for the hydrogen like atom so hamiltonian h is given by minus h cross square upon 2 into the mass of electron okay this is the mass of an electron not the nucleus okay this is a mass of an electron not the nucleus because the nucleus can almost be assumed to be stationary okay electrons are very fast moving particles electro uh, the nucleus can be assumed to be almost stationary and because because this is the kinetic energy operator okay because this is the kinetic energy operator and the nucleus is stationary the nuclear part of the hamiltonian can be ignored okay i'll repeat this again the nuclear part of the hamiltonian can be ignored as the nucleus is almost stationary with respect to the electron okay the nucleus can be assumed to be almost stationary with respect to the electron because the electrons move very fast and the nucleus has a very large mass as compared to the electrons and as a result uh, those who are asking uh, whether we can consider deuterium or tritium remember uh, the nuclear mass doesn't play a role in the hamiltonian which is why the energy levels as well as the uh, wave functions of the atoms hydrogen atom deuterium atom and tritium atom the wave functions and the energies are almost similar okay you will start seeing differences when uh, you look at the molecular picture h2 d2 and t2 at that point the reduced mass becomes very very important okay we have all studied that in uh, the harmonic oscillator part but here you can ignore the nuclear part as uh, for single electron systems you can ignore the nuclear part as the nucleus is much more mass massive and the nuclear is almost stationary which is why kinetic energy will be zero okay plus plus the potential energy is minus k z e square upon r okay plus minus k z e square upon r and now we are going to use polar coordinates here okay in polar coordinates del square becomes a very complicated equation so we are not even going to write down that equation it's not necessary for the exam but uh, this has r theta and phi dependence okay this has all three r theta and phi dependence because notice that when the electron moves around the nucleus its distance from the nucleus can change okay in quantum mechanics we don't assume that the electrons move in a specific orbit 
okay electrons can have any distance electrons can exist even at infinite okay so uh, technically we don't really uh, uh, technically the value of r can change which is why there is r dependence and of course when it rotates theta and phi are also going to change and which is why the hamiltonian has all three dependencies which is r theta and phi okay if reduced mass high then what effect okay right honey is saying after msc way to pune yes absolutely honey come come and meet us in pune okay uh, but before you come remember that there is a classroom exam uh, classroom course scholarship test that scholarship test can give you up to 100% scholarship okay so make sure that you go uh, and have a look there okay all right uh, is there any chance for 79.5 to get uh, ls in ews category there might be okay 79.5 is a very borderline score our prediction is 77 to 78 okay uh, our prediction is 77 to 78 marks but let's see how it goes okay because uh, uh, this is just a rough prediction uh, the actual uh, uh, cut off we'll only come to know once the results are out okay so there is don't lose hope there is still a good chance because if our predictions are right you your ls is uh, there okay because 78.5 is the cut off that we had actually predicted but let's see let's see okay all right all right there if uh, isotopes of hydrogen yeah okay fine all right so i hope all of you have understood this the hamiltonian and as a result of this hamiltonian what are the energies what are the energies that you get okay so the energy of a hydrogen like system is en is minus z square over n square into 13.6 electron volts very very important formula very very important formula if you know this formula uh, of all the questions on hydrogen atoms that are asked you will be able to solve 30 to 40 percent questions just by using this formula okay you will be able to solve 30 to 40 uh, percent of the questions just by using this formula okay so this is a very very important rule okay all right yes yes absolutely hope for the best hope for the best but that doesn't mean uh, that you should do you should not have a game plan okay we have uh, we have actually conducted a session yesterday where we even told all the students what the game plan for the next four months should be okay what you should do because there's a gate exam there is a set exam there is a tifr exam next month and there might be a brc exam in march also so there are many many entrance exams uh, still on your way so start uh, looking at uh, keep keep revising keep practicing previous year questions of those particular exams now okay all right so these are the energies okay these are the various energies en is minus z square by n square into 13.6 electron volts now what is z z is the atomic number z is the atomic number or you can say it is the charge on the nucleus it is the charge on the nucleus okay z is the atomic number or you can say the charge on the nucleus n all of you know what n is can someone tell me what is n can someone tell me what is n what is n can someone tell me what is the meaning of n here what is the meaning of n here can someone tell me quickly quickly this is something that you definitely know i know that you know the answer to this what is the meaning of n what is the meaning of n can someone tell me ani pratyusha lila malik yes correct very good leela it is the principal quantum number it is the principal quantum number okay n is the principal quantum number and what what values does n take n is equal to 1 2 3 and so on n will be equal to 1 2 3 and so on okay principal quantum number very good honey p q n absolutely leela pratyusha absolutely correct absolutely correct okay so i hope malik then uh, 
ऋतुजा अरविंद जी एस यादव शेष राम ऑल ऑफ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस ऑल ऑफ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर ओके ग्रेट सो एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ एंड नाउ सपोज वी वॉन्ट टू कंसिडर अ ट्रांजेक्शन ऑफ एनर्जीज देन वी जस्ट टेक अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन डू टू डिफरेंट एनर्जी लेवल्स ओके लेट्स कैलकुलेट द एनर्जी लेवल्स लेट्स कैलकुलेट द एनर्जी लेवल्स लेट्स कैलकुलेट द एनर्जी लेवल्स टूडे ओके let's start with the ground state let's start with the ground state okay let's start with the ground state so this is let's assume z equal to 1 meaning hydrogen atom let's assume z equal to 1 meaning hydrogen atom so what will be the energy of the ground state here the value of n is equal to 1 meaning e1 will be z square upon n square माइनस जेड स्क्वायर अपॉन एन स्क्वायर इन टू थर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट सो देर फोर द ग्राउंड स्टेट एनर्जी ई वन इज माइनस थर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट ओके द ग्राउंड स्टेट एनर्जी ई वन इज माइनस थर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट ओके राइट दिस इज एन एनर्जी दैट ऑल ऑफ यू हेव सीन ऑलवेज Uh, you have seen a graph uh, where minus thirteen point six is the lowest possible energy. Okay, all right. Now, how about the first excited state? How about the first excited state? Okay, how about the first excited state? Here, the value of n will be equal to two, and e two is how much? E two will be now minus one square upon Two square into thirteen point six electron volts. So therefore, the excited state energy is how much? Can someone tell me how much this energy will be? It will be negative, and it will be in electron volts. But can someone tell me what this value is going to be? My thirteen point six upon two square, meaning thirteen point six upon four. Calculate and tell me how much it will be. Correct. Very good, Pratyusha. This will be minus three point four. electron volts this will be minus 3.4 electron volts okay this will be minus 3.4 electron volts okay all right very good now try the second excited state try the second excited state and now tell me what this energy will be n will be equal to 3 and what is e3 going to be E three is going to be minus thirteen point six upon three square. Can someone tell me what the answer is going to be? Can someone quickly calculate and tell me what the answer is going to be? Minus thirteen point six upon three square. What is the answer? What is the answer? What is the answer? One point five. Very good. Minus one point five. Very very good. Very good. Okay, now if you plot the energy level diagram, you get n equal to one, n equal to two, and n equal to three is very close by here. And you will see that the energy levels actually keep getting closer and closer very quickly. And here you can say n equal to infinity. The energy is minus thirteen point six, minus three point four. Minus one point five, and so on. And finally, here the energy is zero. Finally, the energy is zero, which means the value of energy is increasing in that direction. Okay, the value of energy is increasing in that direction, in the upward direction. Okay, value of energy is increasing in the upward direction. Okay, is this clear to all of you? Is this clear to all of you? Now. what i want you to tell me is what happens if the energy goes beyond zero what happens if the energy goes beyond zero which means which means suppose from this energy level we go to zero from n equal to 1 to n equal to infinity this energy is 13.6 electron volts what do you think will happen when there is a transition from 1 to infinity what do you think will happen when there is a transition from 1 to infinity can someone tell me what do you think will happen 
when there is a transition from n equal to 1 to n equal to infinity what do you think will happen what do you think will happen what do you think will happen when there is a transition from n equal to 1 to n equal to infinity okay so what do you think uh, happens here so imagine that the electron was in the lowest possible state ground state now the electron has been excited to the highest possible state now the electron has been excited to the highest possible state what do you think will happen energy will be zero i agree but what does that mean what does that mean that actually means that electron has been removed from the atom electron has been removed meaning ionization has taken place meaning ionization has taken place so electron was completely removed from the atom okay the electron was present in the ground state when you excited it with uh, this much energy when you provided this much energy the electron was removed from the ground state okay the electron got removed from the ground state and in fact it traveled to n equal to infinity meaning it was removed even from the atom okay n equal to infinity means the highest possible energy and if highest possible energy is zero it means that the electron is not bound to the atom anymore and as a result now what you are going to see now what you are going to see as a result can someone tell me what this is if the electron gets stripped off the atom what do you think uh, the energy levels of the electron will be like what do you think the energy levels of the electron will be like what are you going to see boundary less very good what does that mean very good pratyusha very good very good so what you are going to see is an energy continuum an energy continuum potential energy has been completely exhausted and now what the electron has is just kinetic energy the electron now just has kinetic energy because it has been removed from the atom now the electron is free to go wherever it wants to so the electron will go wherever it wants to okay is that clear to all of you is that clear to all of you okay so going from n equal to 1 to n equal to infinity means ionization going from n equal to 1 to n equal to infinity means ionization so that tells you now if you look at this particular number it's a positive number whereas uh, the ground state minus 13.6 that's a negative number what does that tell you what that tells you is that the ionization energy okay the ionization energy is simply negative of the ground state energy ionization energy is simply negative of the ground state energy okay so therefore if the ground state energy is minus 13.6 therefore ionization energy will be plus 13.6 okay that is the concept that we have to understand from this okay what do you mean by ionization energy the energy required to remove uh, an electron from the ground state into the energy continuum so that will be simply negative of the ground state energy okay that will simply be negative of the ground state energy is this clear to all of you is this clear to all of you okay great so this is the main concept that you have to remember when it comes to the hydrogen atom okay and before we go ahead let me remind you last six hours are left only six hours are left to avail the flat 70 percent discount this discount this offer is not going to be extended today is the last day okay today till 12 o'clock in the night this offer is there and for a six month life course the price is 7500 only all right flat 70 percent discount price is 7500 only use the promo code itihas okay use the promo code itihas today is the last day and also if you are interested in purchasing or practicing physical chemistry this is the best book available in the market okay physical chemistry uh, concept check and this book is also available at a very very highly discounted price we are giving a 
बिग डिस्काउंट ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट थर्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑन दिस बुक सेवन नाइन्टी फाइव इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ द बुक द एक्चुअल एक्चुअल प्राइस वेर एज वी आर ऑफरिंग इट एट अ सेल प्राइस ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज मेक श्योर दैट यू परचेज टू डे ओके ऑल राइट यस तो लीला इज आस्किंग रिमूव इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड स्टेट इज कॉल्ड एज आयनाइजेशन एनर्जी करेक्ट करेक्ट एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट द एनर्जी रिक्वायर टू रिमूव एन इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड स्टेट दैट इज वॉट इज कॉल्ड एज द आयोनाइजेशन एनर्जी ओके नाउ दिस इज दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट बिकॉज द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द हाइड्रोजन एटम स्पेक्ट्रम ओके हाइड्रोजन लाइक एटम स्पेक्ट्रम हैज अ फॉर्म्यूला रिलेटेड टू इट ओके सो हाइड्रोजन एटम स्पेक्ट्रम hydrogen atom spectrum okay and you have all seen this formula you have studied this in class 12 1 upon lambda or nu bar which is the wave number that is given by rh into z square into 1 upon n1 square minus 1 upon n2 square okay note that here n1 must be smaller than n2 Note that in all these cases, whenever you substitute the values, n1 must be smaller than n2. Okay, and here, in fact, if you look at the various values of n1 that are possible, you get various lines or a series of lines. So, if n1 is equal to one, two, three, four, and five, can someone tell me what these series are called? Can someone tell me what these series are called? Good evening, Bhakti. bhakti is slightly irregular right bhakti doesn't attend every class bhakti comes once in a while and shows her face and goes away right bhakti is not very regular in the quantum chemistry series and i know that because she is not regular she is going to tell everyone that quantum chemistry is a very tough subject okay whereas quantum chemistry is one of the easiest subject if you learn like this correct bhakti so make sure that you attend very regularly don't miss even a single lecture don't miss even a single minute of the lecture okay lyman balmer patches bracket fund you are seeing recording okay but don't see the recording because how will your uh, doubts get resolved attend live okay as far as possible attend live classes okay so lyman balmer not patches passion bracket and fund correct absolutely correct so you have five different series lyman balmer passion or passion series bracket and fund or p fund series fund or p fund series whatever you want to call it okay so this is for a transition between two energy levels this is the energy level the lower energy level is n1 because n1 is less than n2 the higher level is n2 and here we actually get two different possibilities one is absorption okay one is absorption spectra whereas the other possibility is emission spectra whereas the other possibility is emission spectra so you get two different spectra either absorption or emission in absorption spectrum the initial level is smaller than the higher level so when light gets absorbed or energy gets absorbed the uh, atom goes from a lower energy level to higher energy level whereas if it's emits energy it goes from higher energy to lower energy obviously okay is that clear to all of you is that clear to all of you yes passion bracket fund balmer yes absolutely correct correct absolutely correct now let's uh, try calculating the lyman series energies okay let's look at the lyman series let's look at the lyman series okay now how is the lyman series actually going to look like how is the lyman series going to look like so you have n equal to 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 5 6 7 and so on and you are going to see transitions starting from n equal to 1 and ending somewhere okay so what we are plotting here is the absorption spectrum okay what we are looking at right now 
is the absorption spectrum. Okay, this is the Lyman series. Okay, this is the Lyman series. So from n equal to one to n equal to two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the Lyman series. Okay, this is the Lyman series. Okay, Bhakti is saying that uh, you are actually watching it in the recorded sessions, but quantum seems very easy. I know quantum seems easy unless and until you start solving questions. So the first question is something that I am going to give you. Now, which of these transitions, which of these transitions from one to two, one to three, one to four, one to five, one to six, or one to seven, which of these transitions is going to give you the lowest energy transition? Okay, which of these transitions is going to be the lowest energy transition? Okay, in fact, there is one more transition that we can say. Let's say that there is infinite here. There is infinity there. Okay, there is infinity there. And there is one more transition that we want to look at, which is n1 equal to 1 to n, uh, n equal to infinity. n1 equal to 1 to n1 equal to infinity, n2 equal to infinity. Okay, so both these transitions we have to see. Now, which one? So one thing that you should remember, one thing that you should remember in all of these cases is that energy or delta E is Hc upon lambda. Okay, delta E is Hc upon lambda. Therefore, delta E is inversely proportional to wavelength. Delta E is inversely proportional to wavelength, meaning higher is the energy, lower is the wavelength. Higher is the energy, lower is the wavelength so suppose i give you two transitions okay suppose i give you two transitions n1 equal to n equal to 1 to 2 and n equal to 1 to infinity which of these is going to have the higher wavelength which of these is going to have the higher wavelength listen to the question carefully which of these two transitions is going to be the higher wavelength which of these two transitions is going to be the higher wavelength transition see if you can tell me this which of these two wavelengths is going to be the higher wavelength transition okay good evening iptasam good evening correct n1 equal to 1 to 2 very good very good pratyusha leela absolutely correct n1 is equal to 1 to 2 this is going to be higher wavelength and lower energy whereas whereas this is going to be lower wavelength and higher energy okay lower wavelength and higher energy so this is one trick that you can remember this is one trick that you can remember longest wavelength line longest wavelength okay longest wavelength line or lowest frequency line longest wavelength or lowest frequency line this line will be equal to n1 to n1 plus 1 okay so 1 to 2 for lyman series 2 to 3 for balmer series 3 to 4 for passion series 4 to 5 for bracket series and 5 to 6 for P fund series. Okay, so this is something that uh, you will get. Walaikum assalam, Ibtisam. Okay, welcome, welcome. Okay, so N1 to N1 plus 1. Okay, N1 to N1 plus 1. Okay, and similarly, longest wavelength. So, shortest wavelength, shortest lambda or highest, shortest lambda or highest nu, shortest lambda or highest nu, that is a transition from n1 to infinity. That is a transition from n1 to infinity. Okay, and all of this is for the absorption spectrum only, for emission spectrum, it will be exactly the opposite. Okay, n2 to n2 minus 1 and infinity 
to n1 okay so uh, this all of this is for the absorption spectrum okay now based on this so take a screenshot of this if you want take a screenshot of this if you want i'll wait once you have taken a <coughs> once you have taken a screenshot or noted it down just let me know in the comments let me know in the chat and then i'll continue okay so this is very important we are going to actually calculate writing simultaneously very good pratyusha pratyusha is writing simultaneously done great that's great leela very good very good okay so then let's look at the lyman series now let's look at the lyman series now n1 is equal to 1 n1 is equal to 1 so let's calculate longest wavelength longest wavelength means shortest or lowest energy which means <coughs> sorry this is going to be a transition from 1 to 2 okay this is going to be a transition from 1 to 2 so 1 is the value of n1 2 is the value of n2 okay so let's calculate the wavelength <coughs> i'm sorry uh 1 by lambda 1 by lambda will be equal to rh into z square into 1 upon n1 square minus 1 upon n2 squared okay 1 upon n1 squared minus 1 upon n2 squared now what is the value of rh what is the value of rh rh is what is called as the rydberg's constant okay rh is what is called as the rydberg's constant rydberg's constant okay and what is this rydberg's constant equal to 1.097 into 10 raised to 7 per meter or meter inverse okay what is the rydberg's constant 1.097 into 10 raised to 7 per meter or approximately 1.1 or approximately 1.1 okay this pdf is available in the app it will be in a few days okay not yet uh, this pdf will also be available in the app but uh, what i will recommend is uh, take notes simultaneously okay take notes simultaneously all right so uh, rydberg's constant 1.097 into 10 raised to 7 meter inverse and that's the value that we are going to substitute here okay so when you solve this what are you going to get 1.097 into 10 raised to uh, or actually let's uh, solve this first and then we'll substitute the value <coughs> rh now z we have assumed to be 1 because it's the hydrogen atom so 1 square will be 1 what you are going to get is rh into 1 minus 1/4 which is 3 upon 4 times rh okay this is 3 rh upon 4 so but this is the value of 1 upon lambda so therefore lambda will be equal to 4 divided by 3 times rh which is 4 divided by 3 into 1.097 into 10 raised to 7 if you calculate this this is approximately so this is 4 upon uh 3.3 approximately which means uh, this will be close to 120 1.2 and raised to minus 7 meters which is 122 nanometers 122 nanometers that's the longest wavelength of the lyman series okay this is the longest wavelength of the lyman series now can someone tell me which range of the electromagnetic spectrum is 122 nanometers which range is this in is this gamma rays x rays uv rays visible ir microwave or radio waves which range is this in which range is this in which range is this in very good very good pratyusha yes leela you don't have to calculate 1 upon lambda you have to calculate lambda so if you have calculated 1 upon lambda that's fine just take an inverse now just take an inverse now yes absolutely correct this is 
in the uv region this is in the uv region okay this is in the uv region okay is this clear so this is the longest wavelength now let's try and calculate the shortest wavelength shortest wavelength what is the shortest wavelength that is a transition from 1 to infinity that is a transition from 1 to infinity which means 1 upon lambda will be equal to rh z square is 1 so you'll get 1 upon 1 square minus 1 upon infinity square which is simply rh okay because if you look at 1 upon infinity square this is 0 1 upon infinity square is essentially 0 it's the reciprocal of a very big number okay infinity is not a number infinity means a very very big number a very uncountable number so if you take the reciprocal that reciprocal is almost zero so let's assume that to be zero okay which means this is just rh into one upon one square meaning just rh okay so if one upon lambda is rh therefore lambda will be one upon rh <coughs> that will be one upon 1.097 into 10 raised to 7 so can someone tell me what the answer is can someone tell me the answer first of all in 10 raised to minus 7 meters and then convert it to nanometers so go ahead calculate this 1 upon 1.097 what's the answer going to be what's the answer going to be very good leela 0.9 be more precise this will be close to 0 0.91 0 0.91 it will be close to 0 0.91 and in nanometers how much will this be in nanometers how much will this be how much will this be in nanometers can someone tell me how much is this value going to be in nanometers 91 very good 91 nanometers and this value is in which range this value is also in the uv region okay which means the lyman series is actually a series of lines that appears in the uv region okay the lyman series is actually a series of lines that appears in the uv region <coughs> okay these are various frequencies or various wavelengths that are absorbed the lowest wavelength if you plot lambda here the lowest wavelength is 91 nanometers the highest wavelength is 122 nanometers okay lowest wavelength is 91 highest is 122 and what you will see is initially the lines are fairly far apart but later on these lines keep coming closer and closer you will start see you will start seeing a continuum somewhere here you will start seeing a continuum somewhere here okay and this is for lambda if you plot frequencies if you plot <coughs> sorry if you plot frequencies the spectrum looks exactly the opposite on the left hand side you have lines which are farther apart on the right hand side you will start seeing the continuum on the right hand side you will start seeing a continuum okay on the right hand side you will start seeing the continuum Yes, absolutely, uh, Parikshit, you can uh, refer to these lectures, some of these lectures, like what we have done today, you can use in the uh, gate Excel part. Uh, today is the hydrogen atom spectrum, so you can use this in the gate Excel part. But uh, what we are going to study tomorrow might not be very useful there, okay, because tomorrow we are going to talk about wave functions and that's not part of the gate Excel curriculum. Gate Excel syllabus is very different, okay. Is that clear to all of you? So the Lyman series looks like this and both of these are in the ultraviolet region these are in the ultraviolet region okay this is in the ultraviolet region so the entire lyman series appears in the ultraviolet region okay great great so let's stop here for today uh, we have seen the Lyman series. Tomorrow we will do calculations for the Balmer series, Passion series, uh, Fund series and the Bracket series. Okay, in tomorrow's class, same time 5 o'clock, 
uh, we are going to study all the other series but remember only last 6 hours are left this offer is valid till today 12 o'clock in the night only last 6 hours are left for the flat 70% discount remember to use the promo code ITIHAS ok remember to use the promo code ITIHAS and uh, remember the English batch has also started from the 17th of October ok English batch has started from the 17th of October you can enroll in this batch this batch also has a flat 70% discount ok this batch also has a flat 70% discount ok that's great Leela thinks it's very interesting that's one of the best praises that a teacher can get if uh, whatever a teacher teaches is uh, sounds interesting to students definitely students are uh, there is there is nothing better for a teacher okay now uh, before before we end this session let me remind you at 7 o'clock Dheerat sir is going to be here with stereo chemistry okay at 7 o'clock Dheerat sir is going to start with stereo chemistry today and uh, you have never studied stereo chemistry in this way make sure that you learn the entire stereo chemistry from Dheerat sir without fail okay all right okay then so let's stop today here okay and uh, good night to all of you and happy learning to all of you i'll see you tomorrow again at 5 pm with hydrogen atom part 2